without forgiveness, uh, the, the world uh, and any community cannot go ahead uh, in a peaceful and progressive manner. Uh, it is when we forgive. And those of us, including me, who uh, were brought up in the seminary. <laughs> I was in the seminary for uh, four years. It was the war of Anyanyawan that uh, uh, scattered us from the school. And we went different ways. So I got myself at the end with Anyanyawan itself in the bush. And uh, uh, thereafter, uh, uh, many advised that, uh, Wani, you are still too young. You, you better go back to the uh, to, to, to the school. So I went to the school. So uh, uh, forgiveness is uh, the principle of life. Uh, because you must start uh, this forgiveness even within your own family. Don't take everything within your family uh, too big or too heavy. Uh, when a child does something in the house, the best you do is uh, call him or her and say, please, what did you drop this cup? It is now broken. Please, please, next time, don't do this again. Uh, that kind of uh, way of, uh, uh, you, you, you know, uh, sending a message. Uh, but we South Sudanese, we believe that for somebody to learn, you must last. Uh, that person, you must keep. This is not healthy. And even for, uh, for, for, for one's wife, uh, we should learn to forgive right from the family. Uh, th th there is nobody who is not fallible. Uh, all human beings are fallible. They can make mistakes. And uh, the best is, uh, the Bible says, forgive 77 times seven times. And uh, if somebody slaps you here, you turn the other temple uh, to, to, to be slept. I mean, that is the emphasis really uh, about uh, for forgiveness. So you have to forgive even your wife uh, and so on. Uh, for, for this particular situation that we are now in, uh, indeed, uh, South Sudanese have really brutally destroyed themselves, uh, untold lives, untold loss of properties. Uh, so those who lost properties, those who lost their dear ones and so on, are definitely bitter. Leave alone those who lost parts of their bodies, whether it is one eye, whether it is one leg and so on. They are definitely bitter. Uh, and with this, of course, I will tell them that uh, uh, reconciliation all over the world is like that. Reconciliation should be preceded by forgiveness. You reconcile in order to forgive. And then you open a new page. Uh, there is no reconciliation where you don't forgive and where you don't open a new page. So South Sudanese should really be encouraged in this particular time to uh, open a new page. Uh, uh, me, uh, before you, I, I also sacrifice in this issue of peace uh, in my own way, uh, with the hope that uh, peace uh, will be cemented in our country. Uh, there is something called uh, expedience. Some people want to call it expediency. <laughs> you see, uh, and this is the principle of politics and um, happy life in a society. Uh, you, of many things that you should choose, you choose the most important, sometimes at the sacrifice of the other, because you have to prioritize things. And so, uh, you have justice and you have forgiveness. That person, for you to exercise justice, presupposes that he or she has to undergo legal systems, including courts, judgment, and, and so on. That person is holding a gun. <laughs> Whoever is supposed to, is holding a gun. So if you say, no, 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 let us put justice first, you, that the court is ready, lawyer is there, go to that town. If you say, let us finish it here, our justice is in the bush. Ah, that's it. And so 
naturally through experience. Forgiveness comes first. What we are doing is the right step. And then this does not prevent any civilian citizen or anybody at all, including foreigners who have been subjected to, you know, to injustices. Nobody will prevent them. In fact, we will have established a proper system now, judicial system, which we can, uh, somebody can say, uh, I have a case, I'm charging X. He has committed this against me, whether it is murder or what. So it will be there and then that uh, the individuals who feel they've been uh, mistreated, uh, unjustly treated, can resort to the court. Uh, and this happens in any society, whether you've been a war or not. So to me, forgiveness first. Otherwise, you cannot even exercise this justice. Anybody who was after justice, why did he have to wait now? He should have started it the day before yesterday. Three stories that can change your life. Real stories of real people who have gone through the most difficult circumstances in their lives, but they have experienced the power to forgive. Gisas Hagigia, Bagger Gero Hayataki, Gisa Tanas Hagigin, Uman Mururu Fizuruf Sab, O Hawadis Tahaya, Lakin Uman Wedishu Huda, Legua Tamusamaha. If you'd like to get a free copy of the book and audio device, Power to Forgive, you can call this toll-free number, 2222. Call now and get your free copy. Can you tell me that you have a lot of people who are going to be able to do the telephone for you? It's not a good thing, it's not a good thing, it's not a good thing, it's not a good thing. Can you tell me that you have a lot of people who are going to be able to do the telephone for you?